Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Madam Winnell. I'm back with another video for you, so let's get right into it. So in this video, I'll be talking about the five things that I have sacrificed in order to get in and continue through medical school. So let's get right into it. My time. In order to become a medical doctor, you will have to sacrifice a minimum of 11 years of your life dedicating yourself to this profession. It first starts with four years of undergraduate degree, doing your prerequisite courses, the required courses to apply, then you have to take the MCAT. Um, so let's throw in a year or two into there if you need a gap year or whatever it may be. Then medical school is four years. So we're going to do the minimum. So four years undergrad, four years of medical school. Then, so that's eight years. And then when you get to residency, the minimum requirement of years of your time is 11 years in order to become a medical doctor. So that's something to think about when applying to medical school, my money. So yes, I have sacrificed a lot of money into this. Medical school is not free, honey. I will be half, almost half a million dollars in debt as a medical doctor and everyone thinks that doctors make so much money and honestly for a very long time you are not making that much money because one as a resident you're making the same amount or maybe even less than like a college grad in their entry-level job and you're you'll be um, expected to start paying your loans around then and then also once you start becoming an, an attending you may have a good salary, but you still have these loans to pay for, so that takes up a lot of your bills. But that's totally that's totally okay. If I came into medicine for the sake of money, I would be a fool. I would never do all of this stuff to get money. There's really way, um, there's easier ways to make money that do not involve going to medical school. Like there's business, there's finances, a whole bunch of other careers that you can make money without having to sacrifice so many years, so much time and effort. So if I was in this for the money, like I'd be a fool and I'm not in it for the money at all. I'm in it for all the right reasons, to save lives, to uh, cure people, to um, contribute to research, to educate and to continue to create this legacy. Um, of black doctors and address health disparities. So if you're in it for the money, I suggest you pack your bags and find another career. My biological clock. Yes, my biological clock, as they say, um, women in medicine, that's such a big topic for women in medicine, um, going into fields that will allow you to become a mom and a wife or whatever. And yes, that did cross my mind going into medicine and I made a career switch at 25 so some people would say that I'm old now whatever because I'm 30 or whatever and I'm about to be a doctor and start residency or whatever but honestly that doesn't bother me um, I have sacrificed yes my I guess prime reproductive years or whatever but I don't even want to have a child within the next few years anyway so that's totally okay with me um besides the fact that i don't anyway whatever i <laughs> my biological clock um the prime reproductive years as they say yes um i did sacrifice that in my 20s or whatever but that's totally okay i'm i know that everything's gonna work out when it's time whenever it's time to you know get that ring or and the baby or whatever it is it'll happen so I am not tripping. Number four, my sanity. Yes, my sanity. Um, just going through medical school, I've had the worst anxiety, worst panic attacks of my life. So it definitely cost me my sanity at times. But the good Lord is the good Lord. And he has delivered me from there because I have faith. And I am covered by the blood of Jesus. Amen. So yes, the devil tried it. And the devil is a lie. Remember that. Last thing and most important thing 
that I sacrificed was my waistline. First of all, I have gained like 20 pounds total since like master's year to first year. I know I had the quarantine 15 or whatever, but it's just like, honestly, I'm a really bad emotional eater and with medical school being so crazy busy and causing my anxiety, I have binged, binged a lot on food and used food as a form of like a coping mechanism for my anxiety and that's not good at all but anyway I'm working on my summer 2021 body I'm destined to break these vicious cycles of emotional eating gaining weight wanting to lose weight and being mad that I gained weight or whatever it's a very very vicious cycle but I'm getting on top of that and I'm also going to be nice to myself I'm gonna give myself I'm going to give myself grace and time and know that these were some of the sacrifices I had to do and not to be too hard on myself and you shouldn't be too hard on yourself either if you've gained weight even if you just gained weight in quarantine or whatever it's been a rough year fiscal year and 2020 was just crazy so give yourself some credit love on yourself and I'm really trying the best to just speak positivity into my life, continue to pray for all the areas that I need healing in, and I hope you'll do the same. And if you want to be a doctor, you will be a doctor. There will be many sacrifices, but I assure you, if you're in it for the right reasons, they will all be worth it. So I'll see you in my next video. And if you want some exclusive stories that I'll never share anywhere else on YouTube or any platform, you can join my premium membership on my blog and I'll link that in the description box below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.